Well, I finally got myself a new soldering station, and I'll show you the one that I was using. Bear in mind that I've modified it a little bit. Um, this is just a cheapie that I bought probably about six months ago, and the soldering iron finally broke, so I just uh, stripped all the stuff out of the inside, which really wasn't that much. There's just one little circuit board right here. I put a DC jack in and wired it to this switch so that now I can plug a 12 volt adapter in and uh, I have a little desktop fan for uh, blowing the smoke away for now but this will eventually be a fume extractor. I just ordered some uh, carbon filters I'm hoping that I can box that in and figure out some way to make a make a fume extractor. But anyway, let's get back to the soldering station. So this is a Yahua. Somebody will have to correct me on that pronunciation because I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's a 937D, and I haven't really seen any reviews online for this particular model. I've seen the 937D Plus and the 936, I think it was, and the 936 had no uh, no digital display, but if I turn it on... Oh crap, I don't have the solder and iron plugged in. Alright, so now let's turn it on. So you can switch it with this little button from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit and then just adjust it with this knob and obviously this is your uh, solder and iron and uh, calibration pot down in here and there really isn't much besides the power switch on the on the side and the plug in the back and that's about it. I did modify it a little bit. I put some rubber feet on the bottom of it because it didn't have any and on the back here too and that just keeps it from sliding around too much. So anyway that's about it for that and the solder and iron so far I don't mind it it's pretty good I did do a quick mod to the handle. I had this piece of like silicone, I guess it is, or rubber. I don't know what kind of material it is, but uh, this is off of my original soldering iron. So I cut it and uh, put it on here over top of the hard plastic, so it's just a little bit more comfortable. And the stand is nothing special. It's pretty much all plastic except for the tray that the sponge goes in and a little plate on the bottom. And I modified this a bit too. Well the first thing I did is I put a better sponge in it. The sponge that came with it is really shitty. So after I get rid of that crappy sponge and replaced it with a better one, I put this uh, kind of thick plate of uh, steel. It's kind of heavy. Not really, really heavy, but heavy enough that it gives it a little bit more weight. So I double-sided taped this down, and then I took some... If I can find what I did with it... Um, yeah, I don't know what I did with it right offhand, but this aluminum sort of furnace duct tape, it's really sticky, and I uh, stuck this uh, down with that just because that double-sided tape wasn't holding it very good. And then I put some rubber feet on this too. I just had a few kicking around there, kind of mismatched but that's okay just keeps it from sliding around so much 
and I'll show you what the thing came with. First, maybe I'll mention the price. It was uh, $45.99 with free shipping and uh, our 15% tax, so it came to $52, but I thought that was pretty good. It was the cheapest one I could find that was a decent soldering station. So anyway, it came with uh, a free element. A uh, 45 gram spool of solder. I think that's how much it is. It doesn't actually say on here, but I'm pretty sure it was 45 grams. And then it came with some tips. So it said in the ad six free tips. So I'm assuming that they're including the one that's already in the solder and iron because this little. Uh, package only has five but even still not too bad